Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will focus a little bit uh, how Islam look at the women. And in the same time, the logic of Islam. And you know, let us discuss together and see if the Muslims, the way they think about women is right or wrong. Uh, we can't play long of uh, this uh, video. I wish I can play it all. But Muslims, they will play uh, the game of... Uh, um, copyright etc so we we can go uh, by a short term plane but that would be more than enough for us to see what islam really think of women and is the logic of islam is really right so let us listen together what this man is going to say to us if you are always demanding Give me this, give me that. Why don't you this, why don't you that? What do you think your daughters will do when they grow up? If you are uncovering yourself, disrespecting yourself, showing your aura outside to the people, and what is the aura of the Muslim woman? The nakedness of the Muslim woman. Notice carefully, please. What is the aura? In Arabic, aura mean? A vagina everything is considered the same as vagina it's nakedness it's you know showing showing what should not be shown or showing so this is a vagina so what is a aura listen carefully for what he say what is a aura in for a muslim woman? what is the vagina for a muslim woman let us listen carefully and he said aura mean nakedness which is close to the correct meaning but aura simply is about a private part so what is a private part in a woman listen carefully what he was saying the nakedness of the Muslim woman. What is her aura? Her entire body. Her entire body. Her entire body is a vagina. So Muslim women, she won't walk in the street. There is a vagina is walking. Muslim don't see human. They see only a vagina. Her entire body is a vagina. You see? This is the logic of this religion. Now, this is a hate crime too. Because this is mean that Muslims isolated the women from being a human being and they did not see in her anything except a vagina. They did not see her mind, her brain, her person. They see only a vagina. Because a Muslim man is nothing but a penis. I think so. Because if you always think of a, your mother walking in the street, there's a vagina is walking, I think you, are not, you, you think yourself you are nothing but a penis because you are not thinking about anything about this woman except your sexual penis part. Because how come you only and only you who see the women as a vagina? All the vagina, all the women is a vagina? All the women is a private part? And listen carefully what he say. All of the women is aura. All. But specifically. Specifically. She has the right to, to show. She had the right to show. Oops, 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 just wait, just wait. Show what? Listen carefully. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, ma dhahra min. What ordinarily appears thereof. Uh, just wait, just wait. What ordinarily appear. What ordinarily appear. Look how they contradict themselves. If you, if the woman she can so show what is ordinarily appear, it means she can show her body. Because this is what ordinarily appear. Women are not born with burqa, Abdul. Have you ever seen a Muslim woman she born with a burqa? <laughs> like you, you, you Muslim women, when your mother she give delivery to your sister, your sister she came out wearing burqa too. What ordinarily appear? What is what ordinarily appear? Let us see the logic of Muslims. And there is just small disagreement among the ulama. There is a small disagreement. I wanted to put two lines under this. There is a small disagreement about this opinion, which what is the part which the woman she can show, which means the majority they agree about one thing, and we will see what is that. About what may ordinarily appear, <coughs> what may ordinarily appear, mm -hmm. her face and her hands. Face and hands. That's it. But. You will notice that this is not true because Muslims don't agree with that. Listen carefully again. He will say to you, some they say, hand and face. But, but what? Listen carefully. Some, all the said. Some. Face and. Some, some, very few. Some. Now, what is the majority they say? 
not even the feet, the face and the hands. Then some ulama, they said, no, not even the face. And the majority of them, they said that. The majority, they said that. So the majority of the ulama, which means the, the, the scholars, they agree that Muslim women, they cannot even show, show their hands or even their face. This is the correct view of Islam of women. Because all of her is, he, he just told us all of her is a vagina. All of her is a private part. Not even the face. Because they said the face itself is the place of her beauty. Mm -hmm. So if the Muslim lady has the ability and the courage and the commitment to even cover her face, MashaAllah, she is also doing herself a favor. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Now let, let us look at the logic. Why Muslim women she have to cover herself? Why this guy don't cover himself? Why you are showing your face, you can show your feet. Muslims, when they do uh, evolution, they do it in public. They show their, uh, all the way to their testicles. They piss, there's no nation in the world. They piss in the street as the Muslims. Just lift, lift his dress up and take his penis, he grab it, and he start pissing in front of children. They expose themselves to children, to women, to everywhere. Now, if the women, she have to cover herself because they say to you that that will make a man sin. What about the man is showing his beauty? That will not make the women sin? You see the double standard? What, the women she don't have eyes? A woman she don't have desire? If she see a handsome man, she will not maybe wish to have him? Only man he have a desire for women? Yes, because in Islam, the only one is a vagina, is the women. Women thinking, who care about thinking of women? Women she cannot think even. She is inside the burqa. We locked her in. She is nothing but a garbage bag moving in the street. And she is just a vagina. And this is what they teach their children in USA. This is a mosque in USA. And you will see a Muslim, a Muslim girl live in USA, born in USA, is listening to this crap. And then you ask yourself why we have terrorists? The same people who teach them that non-Muslims are filthy, they are dirty, they are infidels. We have the hate schools in the middle of our land. It's proven, by the way, that wearing burqa will not make a Muslim woman clean. And I do not need to show you Muslim women showing their boobs and showing their legs and showing their ass and showing their vagina, and they are wearing the burqa on cameras. You can see it all over. In Saudi Arabia, number one crime is sexual crimes. And sexual crimes have to be between two parts, not only one part. You know, you, you, you have sex by yourself, this is, nobody can arrest you for that. Sexual crime is number one. Number one nations in the world who search for sex with donkeys and sex with animals are Muslims from Pakistan. For sure, Saudi Arabia can beat them in that, but because Saudi Arabia is a little population comparing to Pakistan, this is why I think Pakistan, they are beating them in that field. So here we go, dressing the Islamic clothes and the Islamic code did not make you really a better person, did not make your women a better person. Actually, will make you behave in a wrong way. When you cover the women, you know, like... Uh, uh, Always when you forbid something, you make it forbidden by force. Uh, and you make a human being live a normal life. He act wrongly. If you put a man in jail for 20 years, and one day you release him and you leave him alone with a woman, what do you think he will do? He will not act as a human, he will act as an animal. And the same can be for women too. A woman, she never saw a man for long. And this is exactly what a Muslim man he have in his life. Islam, when you see a woman dressing normally, you will not see in her anything really except she is who she is. As an example, if you go to Brazil, you will see uh, people there, uh, 
they wear very short clothes, etc. If you go to India, as an example, the Hindus, their women, they show them their, their half of their body. This is an Indian clothes. Now, uh, if, you, if you look at it, you know, this is maybe supposedly for somebody from the Middle East like me, extreme. There's no way we can see such a thing in the Middle East. But we will not see somebody in the street jumping this woman and they want to kidnap her or rape her in India. Why? Because all women did was the same. When your eyes are used to something, that thing, it became normal. But when you became, you make a side of her ears to show is like something happened. It means you are getting the attention of the man to look at the woman as only as a vagina. Now, uh, the Muslims, because they want to get back what they lost, they don't have uh, freedom with women, so what they do, they force boys to dress like women, and they force them to dance for them. And this is in Afghanistan. This is under the Taliban, the very Islamic regime. And the report, by the way, is made by a Muslim, as you see, from the BBC. So they force, you know, women are not allowed to dance, so what they do? They make a boy, this is a boy, this is not a woman. They make a boy dress like a woman and they force him to dance for them. Then you can search for this word in YouTube yourself, Bacha Baz, and you will see how they make little boys dress like women and they force them to dance with them. This is a very sexual, and after that actually they, they, rape, them, they rape them too, you know? Because nothing is normal, how you want those people to act normally? They are acting like animals. They are trying to get their needs. And their needs of sex have to be getting somehow. And now, because they can't have women in the normal way, they are forcing boys, look at this mullah, look, with his beard, his Taliban. If we go on YouTube and search for the word ma'laya, just to show you, I'm just trying to show you how this is all is hypocrisy, did not make any different Islamic word except making Islamic word is really disgusting. You see, every woman, every woman, there's a woman underneath of her. And they sleep on the top of them and they start shaking. Now, this is a dance. You, you, you tell me what kind of dance this dance is. But notice that they are wearing hijab, you know, they are covering their hair. They are very good Muslim women. Look at the legs. She opened her legs, her legs between her, and they are shaking, etc. You know, this is dance, this is sex. This is sex. Look, she slipped on the top of her. She is underneath, and her. Oh. And we can, you know, there's thousands of, of videos of, of Muslims doing that. So your burqa, your hijab, did not do any different, except you know showing that you Muslims are a bunch of hypocrites. They go because this is all is unreal. Why those men they are going and spend their their their, their money over this? Because simply this is not normal. If it's not, you know, if, if people are living normally, if people walk in the street like a human, then who care about this? Who want to see this? And look, everybody is wearing a hijab. And the guy, he was telling us about sister, your sister, your beauty sister, cover your beauty. Here we go, they are covering their beauty. What do you want more? Anyway, I hope you guys, you did learn something about Islam and how Muslim women, they are looked at by Muslims as a vagina. This is why you see a lot of money spent over vagina. She is made as a vagina. She is treated as a vagina. And those people, they are speaking about her as a vagina because she is nothing for them and for their God more than a vagina. It's a vagina religion. Even what is your reward in heaven in Islam is vagina. You pray to Allah, you fast, you kill, you hate the Christian, you hate the Jews, you kill the infidels. What is your reward is a vagina. Islam, it is a vagina religion, 100%. Christ is Lord, Islam is filthy. I mean to that.